Hey everybody, how is it going? This is Farscape. This is season one. This is episode 18 and this episode is called A Bug's Life. I'm expecting a lot of creepy crawlies in this. Um, I really don't have any other thoughts other than that, I suppose. Um, again, I'm still really enjoying this. I'm liking how we are seeing Aaron and John's relationship especially starting to change. Um, it's starting to progress, it's starting to move forward, which is always, you know, a good thing. Which probably means there's going to be a setback soon. Because <laughs> that's what usually happens in these things. I liked um, how the group seems to be getting closer and closer every episode that we watch. They're, they're trusting everybody more. They're not kind of holding back on their thoughts and their feelings. It's like... Pretty much since Chiana arrived, really, they've all started to kind of gel better together. It's kind of like she was the missing piece they needed to kind of solidify just how much they actually did rely on one another and to an extent how much they actually do trust each other. So I do like that a lot. I like that her introduction pretty much seemed to be a catalyst for that to kind of be acknowledged. So I'm just going to get straight on into this. Let's go. The approaching Marauder's ident signal says it's definitely not from Crisis Command. Oh yet. shit. There are other ways to deal with the peacekeepers. Run. What is actually going on? Oh. They're pretending they're prisoners again. But they're not Aaron deserters. The Rack, Captain. And my assignment's none of your business. They didn't recognize her name. Big ship for one little girl. Uh, I can handle big. <laughs> oh shit, what is he doing? Why is he gone British? My team and I are on a priority red one mission. For what? We need your boat here to complete it. Hereby assume command over it. Oh hell. And you. He's so unhappy. So you recaptured them out here on a new technologies training flight. Captain. It's got a clearer British Tell accent than I do. Precisely is your mission. One crate. And I've got to get it back into peacekeeper control. I like that he's listening. Delay. One crate. Twenty arms. Shit. Twenty arms. But that would mean that the base is out here in the uncharted territories. It's a new gamic base. Shit. It is here. In the uncharted territories. We're screwed. You damage the captain's prize and he'll have both your heads on jinker poles. Oh god, is there a body in here? Would you like... Oh. I'm sorry. It's no problem. Really? No problem just gonna steal it. Yeah. Clever. <sighs> she hasn't put that gun down once. I did see one of your type once. When was that? I was on a transfer barge. I was changing troop ships. No, 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 no. This is working. They think I'm a peacekeeper captain. Suddenly the uniform is convincing. Yeah. Yes, we're glad the peacekeepers left it on board. You look very, uh, fetching. Before we're anywhere near that base, I say we learn as much from these guys as we can. Aaron's supposed to be grilling the rock right yeah. now. Has he gone? He's used his hidden escape route. I'll take this to you. Take the hide, hide, hide. Do you ever fly anything a little sexier than a Leviathan? Is John going to get jealous? <laughs> I started flying scrub runners at 14 cycle. Looking it must be weird for her, her like, talking to someone that she would have been used to talking to all the time before this. She said that this base that we're heading to is a GAMAC base, that's science military. Mm. Right? Science military's perfect. Science experiments. Oh, Rigel. This guy is like a magpie. I'm going to go check out the cargo boat. Oh, he's going to be dying soon. Okay, roger that. Down See what it was. Like a... You're here for the same reason I am. To see if there's anything inside the key. Hmm. Okay. Oh. <laughs> These guys are like peas in a pod. Don't you want your half of whatever's in there? Well, your half's in it too. I am not very practical. <laughs> Do not put anything in there. What is that? Do you reckon? The hell? Even if I did, I wouldn't admit it. Ugh. For whatever it is, it's still alive. He's definitely dead. Up 
possessed? Shot in the cargo area. Weapons. Uh huh. The charade is definitely over. What are you doing? We're strangling the thing. Oh. Oh God. Where's she gone? Over there. Aaron, no, step back from him now. He's not possessed anymore. What are you so frilling afraid of? Is a virus. When we finally isolated the virus, it was using that creature as a host. Oh yeah. The Nutella virus. We caught the virus. And lay a couple of million spores. Shit. Is that in this whole end of the galaxy is in some serious felling dren? That were your weapon, Captain. But she has it. That's all right, Joel. He, he opened up that crate. Somehow he he got it open. Who's Rigel? The Hynerian. I don't think Aaron believes her. Strange. Rigel has been possessed by some Menza member virus. Surrender yourselves. It appears more of your prisoners have escaped. Yeah, you could say that again. It is using the Hynerian as a host. He has escaped and is hiding somewhere in the ship. If we do not find him, everybody dies. Isolate him. We have to work together on this deal. Mm hmm. In pairs. Nobody goes it alone from this So whoever on. gets Chiana screwed. Is moving from one host to another while nobody's watching. So while the virus is inhabiting, there is no way of telling. Brett. Until it's too late. You see the Hynerian, you hit your comms and stay away Hope from Rigel him. hides no the entire episode. No signs of him. I suspect he's still in the excess shaft. I hope so. Concentrate your search there. As you wish, Captain. Doesn't the original host remember being infected? No. The virus leaves behind a mild hallucinogenic. I really don't like that. They've gone off together. Come on, Pip. That wasn't the mission. Yeah, but the mission was to study it. The mission was to capture one alive. You first. Halloween's <laughs> little angry grumbles. If we find Roger, we better find some way to kill the stinking virus without killing mm -hmm. him. We found him. I'm not coming out of here until you tell me what they got you. Oh, he's on. freaking out. He is trapped, but you don't have a very clear shot. Oh! <gasps> what the heck are you gonna do with that? Certainly sounds like the Hynerian. What's she doing? Where's Chiana? It's in John, isn't it? already spoken his dying words. Shit. It's not a pretty process. You ever think about going special ops? <sighs> Me. I've seen you in action. And High Command's gonna have plenty to say on the subject. But if you know, get some time at the Gamic base. Maybe you could sit down. He likes her. <laughs> Next prayer. Lieutenant. <laughs> He's really going to let Rigel take the blame. They believe that the virus is still inside Rigel. Yes, but they also think there's no test to be certain. Captain is accelerating our approach towards the oh. coordinates given to me by Captain Larac. How did you ever manage to find something as tiny as a virus? That's a good question. Perseverance. The maintenance bay, Lieutenant Assange. She's dead. She's dead. Executed. The stess is gone. It's destroyed. The virus is still loose. It's not in Rigel. How do we get it out, though? <sighs> oh, no. Oh, bloody Don't hell. John. It's in one of uh -huh. the virus was inside she uh -huh. the body's acidity was abnormally high. That is the sign. Something that will adjust the body's alkaline levels and bump up each species. They've just left her system. body on the floor. That looks horrible. Oh, that's a handy tool. Who's next? Well, you all saw the components that I put in. He's okay, because he had it. Come on, just do it. 
So we can prove it's him and we can kill him. I think it's you. Oh, brilliant. Not exactly. Blast yourselves as far from here as you want. If the virus is allowed to spawn, it could contaminate thousands of species uh -huh. before it's able to be contained again. <laughs> Pilot, is that ship still leaking cesium fuel? Yes. Blow it up. Let him go. Oh, it's going to ignite the fuel. Is a known condition to stop us. There we go. Look at him. He's so cute. Well, I don't think I'll ever recover. These blankets are so odd. Welcome back. Missed your heart. Closer than you think. What are you doing in here anyway? Making sure you're okay. Oh, I just wanted to um. This was such an extremely well written episode. I thoroughly, thoroughly loved watching every second of this. It was so different. Every episode is just getting better and better and I get so excited when it gets to Wednesdays because I tend to watch two or three of these on a Wednesday. It's became my favourite day of the week. It genuinely has become my favourite days when I sit down and watch some of these episodes because they're just so... I'm just so like kind of blown away by it, really. I love Pilot and Rigel. I love all of them, actually. I, I'm very attached to every single one of these. Aaron, Pilot and Rigel are probably my favourites, the ones I'm most attached to. But it's like, oh, just watching what they go through and the things they have to do in order to ensure their own safety. And I love that little scene at the end with John and Aaron where he's clearly like really worried about her, but... It looked as though he was kind of too scared to express just how much he actually does care for her because he probably thinks to himself, you know, she's grown up in this peacekeeper environment where emotions probably aren't kind of something that they ask you to express that often. And he's probably freaking out thinking, oh God, if I, if I tell her that I like her, she's probably going to withdraw. It's going to end badly. So it's quite interesting to watch how they're developing as we get further and further through the series. Um, I'm sure, as I said at the start, we're probably going to hit some bumps as we go, but it's nice to see. And I loved Zan in this as well. She is so beautiful. I literally, every time she's on, I just can't take my eyes off her she's just amazing it was a shame we didn't get very much pilot in this episode um because i always love when we get a pilot interaction and genuinely john's british accent is clearer than mine <laughs> which actually quite freaked me out a little bit i was thinking he sounds more british than what i do it's quite odd really um i'm gonna go watch the next episode and i will see you guys later so thank you